Did you freak out already and you have no clue what's going on? All of a sudden you've stopped earning any HNT and you don't know what's going on, you don't know what's happening. Guys, helium is switching most of the helium miners out there into light hotspots. Uh, stay with me and I'll explain you what that means and a few of the bits that you should expect with this new update. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Flo, I'm your host here and I hope you enjoyed the content that I'm putting on. If you didn't subscribe already, maybe consider subscribing. If, if you're passionate about mining some crypto, if you're passionate about passive income and different other videos that you can find on my channel. It's very important to know I'm not a financial advisor and everything that I talk is just for educational and entertainment purposes. And also I'm not an expert in uh, helium and I don't claim that I know everything about it. It's just bits that I research and bits that I found out with my uh, miners and maybe some bits that will be interesting for you to listen and maybe you'll find them useful as well. So what switching to light hotspots actually mean? With a softer update which will be rolled out into your miner, they will stop following the blockchain and they will stop the challenge poke activity in your miner. Uh, in, maybe simple words every single miner that you had with uh, helium uh, doesn't really matter who the brand is bobcat nebra or sensecap or different other doesn't really matter they were running the blockchain into your miner and you had three bits which were going in and out from your uh, from your miner and that was making the network move very very slowly and it was causing so many different issues because running a blockchain is obviously acting like a validator and they wanted to separate the validators from the miners that we most of us have um, i didn't apply for being a validator i don't have any validators so i'm not sure how that really actually works but what i can say is that they stopped having the blockchain inside of the miners and the focus and the main purpose of the miner is for sending and receiving different uh, witnesses and sending data and they will, won't act as validators anymore in the blockchain. So all the transactions and everything, the, um, the signals sent in the blockchain won't be validated by, by our miners. Validation is pretty much what defines a blockchain and them separating that from the main miner will just probably make the process of witnessing and actually communicating from a miner to another be very much easier than it actually is now. And probably that will help with the whole, uh, with the whole community, and the whole network, because uh, everything now is moving way too slowly, and every single miner acting as a validator is not something that they have in plan. And I think it's something that they change as they go. Uh, but don't freak out. Uh, this is something that will happen in every miner. But let's talk about a few things that you should probably expect and uh, probably answer a few questions. Uh, Yes, the miner will update automatically. You don't have to do anything. Uh, doesn't matter who your provider for the miner is. You don't have to do actually anything. Uh, the update is probably already uh, done and probably most of the miners are off or off. the show is being offline and you are not getting any witnesses. Don't freak out, okay? I know that maybe for some of the guys out there which are uh, use with a lot of witnessing every single day it's going to be very weird for them not witnessing anything uh, for us which I again I, I live in a very uh, I would say not very popular area and we don't have too many miners around so for me having days without any witnessing is, is, uh, is, is nothing bad to be honest I'm very happy when I actually witness anyone and I would say probably when I get a 0.3 of a HNT a day, it's probably a reason to celebrate. So don't freak out in case your, uh, your miner is not producing anything for a few days. Um, I'm not sure how easy and quick the update will run. And obviously I expect the road to be very bumpy and I would not uh, freak out in case your miner will be off for two three four days probably I'm, I'm not sure how long will actually take for everything to go back to some sort of normality did you all of a sudden get uh, the status of your miner as being relayed and you're trying your best to kind of open any ports and give a static ip to your miner probably is something that we don't have to do anymore because since the uh, since the light uh, hotspots won't sync to the blockchain 
uh, we don't probably have to forward anything anymore through our internet routers. Um, so in case you got a relayed message and you've got a hotspot, which is a light hotspot now, don't worry. Uh, I assume that the relayed status will probably disappear as soon as everything is kind of going back to normal. But these days, in case you got a relayed status on, I would not stress it too much. It's not something that you should be worried about anymore in case your hotspot turn is, uh, turns into a light hotspot, okay? You won't run the blockchain anymore on your light, uh, on your light hotspot, so you won't have to uh, forward anything from your router on the internet. Um, I think this is something that will probably change and I would not stress it out too much, okay? This is probably something that only the validators will have to worry about because they will have to keep on opening the, the forwards for forwarding and they will probably keep on having to uh, add a static address to their, uh, to their miners. It's probably um, in case you've got different errors because of that. I assume it's going to take a few days. I've got a hotspot which has got the uh, relay status on. It's probably still running updates. It's moving very crazy slow. It's a Nebra. And I kind of always had issues with Nebras when it comes to updates. Uh, so it's going to take a few days. Um, I'll probably make another update as soon as I can and as soon as I learn a a few more bits about the light hotspots as I've got a few brands of the miners now um, and I'll probably share that with you but for now if you got a relayed on status uh, I would not be too 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 worried and this takes me to the next point um, as you might kind of expect and as you might know I think we're going to get less rewards because obviously now with uh, all kind of the miners turning into light hotspots all the relayed neighbors or all the offline miners in your neighborhood they're probably going to come to life because um, any network restrictions or any other restrictions in terms of forwarding and in terms of actions for the blockchains in different miners are going to go away and most of the miners around you which had different statuses they'll probably come to life now um, which is a good thing for them but obviously that's going to affect us and everybody on the long term because you might have a few miners around you which didn't work but all of a sudden good for them uh, they're going to work and probably uh, you're going to get halved because of, of different miners around you. Uh, it's not something too bad. To be honest, it's a, uh, it's a network for everybody. So in case you're in a very crowded area, sorry, uh, maybe get your miner to a friend who lives somewhere uh, rural or who knows where. Um, just think of ways of you kind of making 2x, 3x, 4x of what you do now, keeping your miner in a very crowded area and maybe gift it to somebody and uh, and maybe giving half to them for keeping your miner you'll probably make more than you actually do now having it in a very very crowded area and maybe one other thing in general uh, these updates which we get on this type of devices they will ro roll out better in case your miner is connected to uh, uh, ethernet in case you got a cable uh, inserted in your miner the update will run so much faster uh, so i suggest in case you can do that maybe switch it from uh, being on wi-fi to the internet connection and you'll roll out your updates so much faster and also very important ensure your miner is actually connected to the internet for for it to run the updates uh, i would suggest turn it off for an hour in case it's been offline for a few days and nothing worked and you don't know what to do turn it off for an hour and after an hour put it on um, and ensure you can pair it with your phone and ensure that you can still connect to the internet um, in most cases you'll see you'll see the miner being on the status of it will be on uh, but you'll actually be off on the helium network because probably there's still uh, issues with the updates and there's still issues in trying to connect back to the to the main network um, it'll take time i would not stress it out too much because i know my miners in general they don't earn too much 
but I know that from past experience with different bits, uh, things take time and especially on this magnitude of helium network, things will take time and again, it will be a bumpy road. So brace yourself, put the seatbelt on and ensure that you're ready for the updates and probably a better network. And this is my point of view. And these are the bits that I, um, I found with my, my miners. And these are the bits that I'm learning and I'm hoping uh, you'll find them useful. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button and reward me with a like. And I would appreciate if you want to subscribe for more video and more content like this one. Until next time, don't forget, look after yourself and your families and stay safe. Ciao.